I, I tell you, you know, I, a day doesn't go by where somebody doesn't talk to me about the Princess Bride in some form, ask me to say something, whatever. And every time they ask it, including this moment, I can't believe it's me you're talking about. I can't believe that I'm the guy in the movie. And I'm in every single copy of every DVD that's out there. Yes. You know? Because <laughs> I thought, like, maybe I should look through them. Maybe I'm not in some of them, you know? <laughs> what I was wondering, though, was, I mean, it was years later, but in that movie, because you lost your father young, in that movie, you were avenging your father's yes. death. There was some of that, yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. When you were making it, was that in you at all? You bet your your heart. <laughs> <laughs> may, I, may I also bet my ass? Yes. Can I, 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 <laughs> I didn't know how late this show was on. <laughs> I don't know the rules here. <laughs> so, but but, uh, but Rob Reiner gave me the script, and I remember sitting there reading it, and he said, you know, tell me what part you'd like to play. And I read it, and I went, this part. And he said, okay, let me finish casting the man in black because it's got everything's got to match, right. and I'll get back to you. And then he said, okay, the part's yours. But the minute I saw that part, my mind immediately, I never wavered from it to this day. I, my mind said, Mandy, if you get that part and you play that guy and you get that six-fingered guy and you get him, that's cancer. And if you get him, your dad will come back. And that was my, if you build it, he will come. You know, that yeah. was my field of dreams. And you know, as a young kid, I would get angry. I'd get angry that my father was taken away from me. I'd get angry that I wasn't given what I wanted. I was spoiled and all kinds of things. It was me, 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 me. And one day, not that long ago, I'm in a, I'm in a, stu I'm in a gym, I'm working out before a concert, and there's the movie on the TV on the exercise machine, but it's silent, because I'm running my lyrics, because I'm old and I gotta make sure I can remember them. <laughs> and so, I get back up to the hotel room, my wife's sitting there and dinner arrives before I go to the theater and she's got the movie on and the very end of the movie is there. And you know, everybody says the famous line from the movie and that's what they think. But I was 26 years old, I think, when I made that film. And there's the last scene in the movie and the last line in the movie and I'm looking at it and, I, and we have it on and I hear the guy who's played by me say this last line in the movie and, and it to me became the line of the film for me and of my life that that kid who said it never even realized what he was saying when he said it. And the line that I love the most for me from that movie is, I have been in the revenge business so long. Now that it's over, I do not know what to do with the rest of my life. 